Hello from Mexico. Today, the vet came to our house so that all of our animals could be treated for fleas. For those of you that don't know, we have six dogs and one cat, and we do this treatment with them every three months. Now, two of our <laughs> dogs and the cat stay at the rental, and then our other four dogs are at the house site. And in addition to getting them treated for fleas, our Shih Tzu also needed to be groomed. So the vet brought all of his stuff so he could just groom him here at our house. Now, the reason we ask him to come out is because we've been really busy lately. And it's also really hard to get all six of our dogs and the cat in our little car to take them all over for a treatment. But because fleas can get so bad here, we didn't want to lapse on their medication. So this just made the most sense. And yes, the lavadero was the easiest place to wash him. Also, this is Charlie living his best life because he didn't have to get showered today because he had a shower last week. Now, Thor gets really bad anxiety when he gets groomed, so I had to help out, and that's what my sweater looked like. And I know he looks really sad here, but as soon as he gets done, he's perfectly fine. And we don't ever get a traditional shih tzu cut on him just because we don't really like the way that it looks. Look how happy he is. To make sure Charlie wasn't left out, the vet also went over him with a comb to get some of that undercoat out. And then when we were done, we headed down to the house site. And these guys were super happy to see us. Now, owning this many dogs has made me pretty good at administering medications. They were giving the vet a hard time, so I just did it. And I started out with Ellie because she's usually the easiest. And then, of course, the other dogs were concerned that she was getting something that they weren't. And then next up was Jackson. Now Jackson's like my baby and he follows me everywhere. And he usually isn't too bad at taking medication. But of course there was Ellie trying to get another one. And although he's really good at taking medication, he still looked like he was pretty upset with me. And then next up was Pika. And Fidel didn't record the pill part, but she did really well. And then here comes Jackson to reassure me that he's not mad at me. And last but not least was Maya. I thought she did really well, but as soon as I pet her on her face, I could feel it sitting in her cheek. So the vet stepped in and helped me. So this turned out to be a very successful flea treatment. So when we were done, I washed all the dog slobber off my hand and then headed home so that I could take my laundry down before it started to rain. Hope everyone had a great day.